the Ludlow Handicap Chase is next in. This is a two and a half mile naught to one ten. And the top one is Hurricane Fly for Paul Rose, Capable Cardington for Martin Lidham, Jack's Bluebells for James Shea, Lone Star for Paul O'Neill, and Ains Delight for Ryan Costello. So just five. Small field and away they go. And everybody should get some prize money if they all get round. And Ains Delight the first to show into the first. And oh, Lone Star was all most on the deck at the very first fence. Not recovered well. And into the second. That one much better, and it's Ainsley Delight on the outside of Jack's Bluebells there, disputing the lead as they go over that little road. Then Capable Card is on the outside of Hurricane Fly with Lone Star, just the back marker at this stage. So next, next ditch and over that one nicely with Capable Card and now being driven up to challenge for the lead. Nothing all that keen it would seem to take the race by the scruff of the neck. And now Jack's Bluebells going up on the inside, may well be a leader on sufferance. As you can see, the jockey's got a pretty firm grip. The reins there. And Haynes Delight on the outside in second. Wider still, capable Carlington in third. Gap of a length or so back to Hurricane Fly. And then finally Lone Star, who's recovered from that mistake at the first. A bit of stuttering video there as we make our way towards the next of the 17 fences. This is a plain one. Uh, taken on the uphill and the all got over that one. Okay, and capable Carlington has now gone on by about a neck short run to the fifth and they're all over that one as well with the capable Carlington and Ains Delight disputing the lead two length gap back to Hurricane Fly as they come out of the ditch and that time oh he's gone Hurricane Fly's gone unship the pilot and looked like he was going to recover but didn't and another mistake by Lone Star as well so they're going to come up past the winning post shortly and they'll take the water jump there and then we'll go around again it's Capable Cardington who's in the lead past the post of the circuit to go. Winner last week in front from Ames Delight in second. Now back to Lone Star in third. And then Jack's Bluebells is fourth. And the only four left. As Hurricane Fly departed the race a couple of fences ago. And Capable Cardington leads by three quarters of a length to Ames Delight in second. Gap of three or four back to Lone Star. Who's just about a neck up on Jack's Bluebells on his inside. Jockey on that one a little run, see if there's anything behind him. And there isn't. So over the next one then, and this time Cable Cardington was the one that made a mistake. And has surrendered the lead to Ains Delight. And they take the next one, and they will drop that one nicely. Ains Delight in front. Jack's Bluebells has moved upon the outside of Cable Cardington to take a share of second. And Lone Star, the back marker, as they take the 11th. Plenty of jumping to do, and only six furlongs to race. Haynes Delight leads by length into this dip, jumps it nicely. They all jump that well, and it's almost four in a line now. With Jack's Bluebells just about in the lead. Capable Carlington on the rail, Haynes Delight just being quite a little bit flat footed, and Lone Star has got them all well in his sights. And the jockey's just managed to get himself tucked into a little gap there, whether he's done that on purpose to keep him covered up or not, I don't know. But it's Cable Cardington and Jack's Bluebells disputing the lead with Lone Star now being pulled round to come wide. Ains Delight suddenly finding the pace a bit hot as it quickens. And with three furlongs to go, it's Jack's Bluebells and Cable Cardington. That's the 13th. With four more to take, and Jack's Bluebells leads by about three quarters of a minute. That's the fourth last. Jack's Bluebells and Cable Cardington are pulling away from Lone Star and Ains Delight. So we'll developing into a two horse race, a match between these two over the final ditch they go. There's two more to jump, and Cable Carlington now goes on. Cable Carlington by a length to Jack's Bluebells over the second. That's good jump again by the leader, and he's now put three lengths between himself and the second horse. And Cable Carlington is beginning to pull away. He's just got to get over the final fence, which is the water jump. He's over it safely. And he races up towards the line and wins it quite cosily by about five lengths to Jack's Bluebell second, Lone Star third, and Ames Delight fourth. Some uh, drift. We'll pick up some prize money. And that in week four on day three is my first commentary on my own winner this season, which is which shows you how badly I'm doing. So Cable Carlington then is the winner for Martin Leadham. Jack's Bluebells for James Shea was second. Lone Star Paul O'Neill third. And Ains Delight for Ryan Costello was fourth.